my fellow Americans. That's not what your country can do for you. That's what you can do for your country. Although these are the famous concluding words that JFK delivered at the end of his speech on his inaugural day, January 20th, 1961, they were only the beginning of his short legacy as President of the United States. The JFK presidency was one of the extreme influence of our nation from start to finish. Even today, candidates and presidents compare themselves to President Kennedy and hopes to connect with Americans the same way he did. Born on May 29, 1917, to a wealthy Catholic family, JFK was destined to become president. Overcoming scarlet fever and many harsh Navy conditions, earning an international degree from Harvard and serving both as Congress and a Senate member before his presidency, JFK proved to be a fighter and a go-getter. Even in death, the president managed to make accomplishments as his legacy lived on. However, the number of accomplishments that the young president made can never overshadow the amount of despair and grief he would come to reckon with throughout his short-lived life. From the beginning of JFK's presidency, he was bright, well-rounded, and eager to do good things for the people he loved most, Americans. Richard Nixon, John F. Kennedy, when Richard Nixon and John F. Kennedy appeared on television everywhere in the first ever televised presidential debate, It was amazing for all Americans to see. JFK's election focused on television, religion, and civil rights, all of which he used to win over voters of both Republican and Democratic parties. JFK used his youth and charm to his advantage and defeated Nixon in the presidential election of 1960. Throughout JFK's presidency, many important events occurred. The U.S. Supreme Court ruled that segregation in transportation facilities was unconstitutional. He announced the Cuban Missile Crisis. The first American entered space on May 5, 1961, and the Bay of Pigs invasion occurred. Sadly, on November 22, 1963, JFK K was shot and killed while traveling in a motorcade in Dallas, Texas. While his presidency came to a tragic ending, it still lives on today. And many American presidents try to be like him in hopes to connect with the American people.